Few Americans tackle terrain this tough, yet SUVs are the vehicle of choice in the U.S. The appeal is in the rugged look, a high seating position, and a knack for swallowing cargo. I often get asked, what are my favorite SUVs and crossovers? Here are five in various sizes and prices. Now, I am not going to include the excellent General Motors truck-based SUVs, Chevrolet Tahoe, Suburban, and GMC Yukon, because most families don't need the extreme capabilities they offer. But darned if I didn't just sneak them in there. Let's begin with the most affordable, the Kia Soul. The box is a very efficient shape and Soul has loads of room inside. Even a hamster can appreciate the cabin materials and simple user interface. There's loads of headroom if you're tall and looking for a small car. You'll definitely want to check this out. Skip the base version for more potent four cylinders. This top shelf Exclaim model runs with the most powerful turbocharged engine. It also gets the best gas mileage. This well-rounded square is pretty refined and seats five adults fairly comfortably if they're not too large. Soul is also available as an electric vehicle. The big miss here, no all-wheel drive. If that's a must, the Subaru Forester is nearly as cubic. I've seen the next generation Chevrolet Equinox and it looks to be a very strong contender, but until it arrives in the spring of 2017, the Honda CRV is the 500 pound gorilla in this class. Generation 5 looks familiar, but has a newfound sense of style. The vibe in the cockpit looks a full grade more expensive now. Once again, I suggest skipping the base model, spending an additional $2,600, bags a more efficient and powerful turbocharged four-cylinder. Secondly, it adds the Honda Sensing Safety Technology Suite with adaptive cruise control and auto braking with pedestrian detection. CRV drives nicely, is fairly quiet, and has the backseat room and cargo space small families crave. It does without some creature comforts found on others in class, but overall, it's the one to beat. In the premium segment, the Macan is a force to be reckoned with. To think people once thought Porsche SUVs were a bad thing. It's handsome outside and in, but more important, Macan is a terrific dance partner. Wow, this feels like a rear wheel drive car. You'd almost forget that it's an SUV. Who knew cornering in a crossover could be so much fun? This turbocharged V6 S version is plenty quick. Those with a need for speed can move up to the GTS or turbo models. Refined sports car dynamics in a sport ute do not come cheap. This particular copy is 71 grand, and runner-up Mercedes GLC 300 has a roomier back seat. But Macan proves that practical transportation can be a thrill to drive. Buyers are gravitating to rigs like this, partly to avoid the stigma of minivans, which remain the most practical, useful vehicles you can buy. But to haul the family in style, it's tough to beat the Mazda CX-9. Arguably, the design puts some premium brands to shame. This top shelf signature model at about 45 grand as shown is trimmed in rosewood. A turbocharged four cylinder motivates this three row crossover. It's the future, folks. No worries. Power is fine off the line. The family friendly CX-9 is the driver's choice for slicing through corners, but uh, don't make the kids car sick. The Niner's smaller size keeps the third row on the tighter side. For a little more room, check out the Toyota Highlander that can be had as a hybrid. For luxury in the three-row segment, Audi's Q7 gets my nod, though it nearly came down to the excellent Volvo XC90. True, the Q's understated look is perfect for witness protection program duty, but few interiors offer better craftsmanship. It's about perfect. Choose between a turbo four-cylinder or supercharged V6. The big Audi feels light on its feet. There are bank vaults that aren't this solid. It's stuffed with technology. I'm coming up to an intersection. If there was an oncoming car and I tried to turn left in front of it, the Q7 would stop, wouldn't let me do it. Not one of those things I feel comfortable actually demonstrating. This one is optioned up close to 69 grand. That's less than the Macan. Uh, does that make it a bargain? 
Those are my top five picks, but it doesn't mean you should just go out and buy one of them without test driving and comparing. SUVs and crossovers are a very personal choice, and it's important to test drive at least three different models and brands before buying. The auto industry has changed a lot in the last five years, just like the vehicles we now prefer.